Why, I can already tell you right now, without any thought whatsoever, Taco Bell is unfuck wittable. <laughs> Nothing will ever be better than Taco Bell for me. Taco Bell is, without a doubt, the best fast food. Since I was like three or four years old, and my parents took me to Taco Bell for the first time, and I had a bean and cheese burrito, holy shit, dude. There's not many things that come close to Taco Bell bean and cheese burrito, although their Mexican pizza that they don't make anymore is pretty rad. Uh, I love that. Already I know. Taco Bell, unfuckwittable, all right? So let's figure out what we would do. Okay, Elevation Burger is, I'd say A, because with them, the problem is it depends on which branch you go to, especially here in Qatar, because some do a better job than others. I think Qatar actually here, they only have one or two. Yeah, they have the one at the mall and the one at the Pearl. But I love their lettuce wrap burger, man. I don't get it with the bun, I get it with the lettuce and the beef, cheese, a mustard mayonnaise, ketchup, and the elevation sauce, and man, it's so good. Chick-fil-A, I know the company sucks, and all of their like weird right-wing stuff is stupid as hell, but boy, that chicken is so good, dude. Chick-fil-A, no other company's chicken can touch it on its own, you know what I mean? Like, there's lots of other chicken places, but if you have the chicken by itself, nothing is as good as Chick-fil-A at all i miss it man like when you go to chick-fil-a and you get like a chicken sandwich or what i would do is i would get like the eight or the 12 piece of their chicken nuggets or chunks or whatever they called it and then the waffle fries and then i would get the polynesian sauce it's like a sweet and sour almost and you dip the waffle fries in that <laughs> and again chick-fil-a is not here it probably will never ever come here because obviously qatar kuwait Saudi, all of these places are, you know, they're, it's a Muslim country. There are Christians and Buddhists and whatever you like over here, lots, but primarily it is this. And that's why actually in Kuwait, they have Church's Chicken. Church's Chicken is pretty fantastic, especially in their, their biscuits and stuff. But it's not called Church's Chicken in Kuwait. It's called Texas Chicken because the whole thing of church's chicken was it's what you have on Sunday at church or after church with the family or whatever. So when they brought it over here, again, they changed it to Texas chicken because they didn't want to offend people. Krispy Kreme is okay. The problem with Krispy Kreme is they glaze everything. I don't want like a, an original plain donut with glaze on it. You know what I mean? Sometimes I just want a good old fashioned plain donut that I can dunk into my milk and eat that shit. And that's why I put Dunkin' Donuts higher. Probably, let's say B, because that's not something that like you can just have all the time. Now I will say, when I do get Dunkin' Donuts, if it's like a box of a half dozen, then I usually polish that shit off on my own with a glass of milk or two, and it's gone, you know what I mean? Five Guys is, they have Five Guys here, and it costs more than most other burger places, but it's so worth it, man. A big ass burger, you get two patties. And then on top of that, you get like the french fries. And even if you get the regular fry, it's like half a bag of french fries, especially if you get the Cajun fries, because the Cajun fries have all of the seasoning on them. So good. And then you get to have peanuts. Peanuts. It sounded like penis. You get to have penis. Uh, if that's what you like to taste, hey man, have at it. But I'm more of a peanut guy, less, less of a penis guy. A and W. A and W is actually pretty rad, man. Not here. It'll never be here. The only places I've ever been that had it were Nevada and Japan. Believe it or not, Japan on Misawa Air Base we had an A and W, and I would always get a root beer float. But their chicken fries are the best chicken fries of any place, like Burger King, whatever. Their chicken fries are fantastic. Raising Cane's chicken fingers. The thing about Raising Cane's chicken fingers, we're gonna put that in the S. But the thing about their chicken fingers that makes them so good, it's not so much the chicken fingers. They are pretty great, but they're they're well made and they're tender and they're crisp on the outside, but they don't have like a really unique taste. They just taste like really good chicken fingers. The thing that puts them over the top is their Raising Cane sauce, which I actually make myself. I have a recipe for it because once again, we don't have Raising Cane's here, but Kuwait has a ton of them. 
Kuwait has all of the food. Kuwait is like the the food capital of the GCC, even more than Saudi and the UAE. They have more food than anybody. That's why they're continuously number one on the fattest countries in the world. And they have like the most diabetes, the most heart disease. But then again, that's the entire GCC. Every year in the top 10, the GCC is like one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> and America's like seven. And then Raising Cane's, when you dip their french fries in their sauce and all this stuff, oh, so good. Hardee's, I don't fuck with Hardee's anymore that much, man, because once they bought our Carl's Jr., which was depressing because I loved Carl's Jr. when I was a kid, and it was one of my dreams to go back to California or someplace and get a Carl's Jr. burger, but they don't exist anymore, and Hardee's has ruined that. Hardee's is like that food you get when there's nothing else available, but it's, you know, it's cheap, it's open, you know what I mean? It's like, it's just shit food. It's like McDonald's, it's shit food, but it does the job. Jack in the Box? I think that's Jack in the Box. I haven't had it since I was a kid. It doesn't really matter to me. I'm not saying it's bad, but I can't sit here and talk about it. KFC. KFC over here and in the Philippines and a few other places is bananas. Not taste-wise, but popularity-wise and sales-wise and all that kind of stuff. KFC does bank. Which is funny because in America, they're failing. And in America, they're voted, they're in like seventh place for cleanliness. Everything else, like McDonald's, Burger King, Hardee's, Taco Bell, beats the shit out of them for cleanliness. And over here, it's not that much. And in America, KFC costs a lot more, which is really weird. You'd think it'd be the opposite. KFC, a D. Checkers? Ooh, a Sonic. Okay. Sonic is like... I used to get Sonic all the time when I worked as a cable guy in America. They don't have Sonic here. There is no Sonic, there's no drive through there's no delivery, nothing Sonic. Which sucks because Sonic has really good fries, they have a lot of great stuff on the menu. Their burgers are really good. Sonic is kick-ass. I miss that. Arby's? Definitely, we'll say A. We have one, one Arby's in Qatar. One only at City Center Mall. And it's never busy. The, line, the most people I've ever seen in line were two. And then you look to the right, you see Subway, you see McDonald's, you see they're all like, the lines are crazy. Uh, but I love Arby's because of their roast beef and cheddar. Their roast beef and cheddar sandwiches are fucking awesome. And then when you take the Arby sauce, not by itself, because Arby sauce by itself is very good. But when you mix Arby sauce and ketchup together, it makes it like sweet and tangy and all that kind of stuff. Really yummy. Uh, Jimmy John's, no idea what the fuck that is, so put that in F. Panera, I can tell you right now, nope. Panera is some hipster, overpriced, you know, hippy-dippy, whatever. I had it a few times, and every time I was like, oh, this is incredibly average. And it's like three times the cost of any other fast food place. Zaxby's is pretty great, but it's not as good as Raising Cane's. Again, chicken fingers, really good sauce. Um, but yeah, it's not as good as Raising Cane's. I think Zaxby's is kind of like a ripoff. I don't know which one came first, but they are very similar. But the sauce of Zaxby's wasn't as good. Checkers, again, fantastic. They don't have it here, and it's not nearly as good as Sonic. So I want to put Checkers as B. Cinnabon, I like Cinnabon, but man, it can get really old really fast, and it's not, it's too sweet sometimes. How is there no Firehouse Subs? Firehouse Subs, by far, is the best sub shop in America, but it's not on here. I'm going to put Subway as an F. Over here in Qatar, we have what is called a blockade. <laughs> so Saudi Arabia, Bahrain, Egypt, and UAE have all made it off limits for us to go to their country. Right, we haven't made it off limits for their people to come here, but they've also made it off limits to get like goods from there and all that kind of stuff. It's real shitty, it's real douchey. It's not the people in the countries, it's the government, because I have tons of friends in all of those places that are great. But yeah, those four countries suck ass because of that. Now one of the problems with Subway is, Subway gets their meatballs from Saudi Arabia. The blockade has been going on for three years now, I think. So for three years, three, in years, I have not been able to get a meatball sub from Subway because for some reason the Subway here is really fucking lazy or they don't care or whatever and they feel like I don't need to try to find a different supplier. Uh, we don't need the meatballs. But it's not just the meatballs. They don't have chicken pizziola and they don't even have the marinara sauce. So any combination or any form of Italian sub, not old school Italian like dressing sub, but anything with marinara sauce, you can't get on the menu at Subway anymore. So, actually, let's put that under a note, because fuck Subway. 
Also, their spokesman is a pedophile. Boston Market? Okay, I guess. It's not my thing. Added a couple times. I don't even know what the hell this is. Hippo? Chipotle. This must be Chipotle. I guess. I don't know, man. Whatever. El Pollo Loco. I had that when I was a kid. It was pretty good. Put that in B. Jersey Mike Subs. Quite good, actually. Uh, not quite Firehouse, but much better than Subway. And I think better than Quiznos. The thing about Quiznos is the subs are good. The quality of their subs is good. But the quality of their service sucks ass. We actually had Quiznos in Qatar and in Kuwait. I don't know if they still have it in Kuwait, but they went out of business here in Qatar. I ordered from Quiznos, I think, five or six times, right? And every single time I ever ordered from Quiznos, they screwed my order up or they burnt it. Quiznos, you screwed yourself with your service. You're going down into the scrubs here. Dairy Queen, love the ice cream, love their cakes, but their burgers have such a processed taste to them. Their french fries, they taste like something you would get in a supermarket or whatever. So we're gonna put that down in. They're not any better than Hardee's, right? So I'm gonna put them here. So I'm gonna do this in two more lists and then it's time for a sleepy time. Popeye's chicken and biscuits, ooh wee boy. Popeye's is the balls. Not so much because of the chicken. I mean, the fried chicken is good. I like it. But what's really good from Popeye's is their biscuits. Their biscuits are the shit. They're so yummy. McDonald's, please do. Wendy's, it definitely is an elevation. But I do love, ooh wee, I miss it so much. The bacon cheddar fries, because of course, again, you can't get bacon in Qatar because it's a pork product. Panda Express. Panda Express is okay there. Sweet and sour chicken is pretty good. Um, so we'll put B, but most of their other stuff is straight, straight booty. Long John Silver's, oh my god, I miss it so much. I miss it. I love the, the fried fish and the french fries, it's so yummy. Burger King. It's definitely not Elevation or anything, but I love their Whopper. So I'm going to put Burger King right there at Bravo. I always get the Whopper and I get the lettuce on the side. Pretty yummy. I get the lettuce on the side because if you don't, by the time it gets to your house, the lettuce is all brown and shriveled and warm. Gross. The uh, Witch Witch. Never had it. Oh no. White Castle. White Castle is like the little burgers, right? There's another place in Tennessee and a lot of the southeast that also does that. Crystals, Crystals Burgers, all right? Crystals and White Castle. The little burgers put a lot of grease on the buns and the buns get like soggy and yucky, so I don't really mess with them. Water Burger, Water Burger's actual burger sandwiches and everything, I don't like. I think they're just bleh. But their shakes and malts are the balls. Auntie Annie's and Wetzel's Pretzels. I don't think I've had Wetzel's, but I'm pretty sure they're the same thing as Auntie Annie's, but I've had Auntie Annie's. And they can be pretty good, but their service usually sucks. They can shake. They're okay. I'm not like, oh my god, I gotta have it. I'm craving it. They have one here in a mall that's only the only one in the country. Pretty good. But it's not like I said, oh man, I gotta go there. in and out Burger. Pretty good. So this is what we had for lunch. Of course, every day we'd have Taco Bell. Now, if I had to pick a thing out of here, for in the States, it would be Chick-fil-A, but that's not available here. So it would either be Five Guys or Raising Cane's. But yeah, so Taco Bell is always the champ. Five guys in Raising Canes, second and third. So we had our cereal, we had our snack, we had our lunch. But now we need something to drink with our food. So of course, we've got to do the soda pop. 